In this interesting question, given is a regular hexagon, a point is selected randomly on the side. The area of green and blue triangles is 13 and 12 centimeters square. Using this limited data, we have to find the length of this red line segment or value of x. Let's check the solution. To find the value of x, we'll first find the area of this full hexagon. And for that, let's first establish what is the formula for the area of hexagon. Let's assume the side length of each side is a centimeter. And let's draw the main diagonals of the hexagon. So this diagonal is divided into six equal part. And each part is a equilateral triangle. Thus the area of hexagon is six times of area of equilateral triangle. Here, let's also find the height between FC and AB. So let's draw this perpendicular. So this height CN will be same as height of equilateral triangle. And height of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 2A. So these facts we'll use later. Now let's find the area of this three brown triangle. In fact, the area of this three brown triangle is half the area of hexagon. Let's establish that. So let's start with this triangle EGD first. Its area will be half of base into height. Let's draw this height as GM. So its area is half of base is ED, height is GM. Now ED, ED length is A and GM, GM will be twice of CN that is root 3A. So putting these values here, so this area is nothing but 2 times of root 3 by 4A square. So that is its equivalent to two equilateral triangles. So full hexagon is six equilateral triangles. And this EGD, this is equivalent to two equilateral triangles area. Now let's see the area of this triangle FAG and GBC. So for these two triangles, area is half of base into height. So base here is GB and height is CN. Same way for this triangle, the base will be AG and this height of this vertex will be same as this length CN here. Now adding these two, we'll get area is half of BG plus AG times CN. Now BG plus AG, this is nothing but A and CN is root 3 by 2A. So this area is coming as this, which is equivalent to one equilateral triangle. That's root 3 by 4A square. So these three brown area, they are equivalent to three equilateral triangle area, which is half of six equilateral triangle areas. So basically brown area is half. So we can say that green and blue triangle, these, uh, their sum is half the area of hexagon. So area of full hexagon, that will be twice of sum of these two. So that's two times of 25 or 50 centimeters square. Now comparing this formula for area of hexagon and this 50 will get the side length or value of A as 10 upon 4th root of 27 centimeter. This value is what we'll use to find value of X. To find value of X, let's extend DC and AB, both of them meeting at point H. Now here this angle, this is regular hexagon. So this angle is 120 degrees and this remaining angle, it will be 60 degrees. So same way this angle here, it will be 120 and this remaining angle, this will be 60 degrees. So we can say that this triangle CBH, it's an equilateral triangle and thus this length BH is a centimeter and CH is a centimeter. Now area of this triangle GHC, so area of this triangle GCH, that will be half of base into height. If I'm taking base as GH, then height will be CM. So this is equal to half of GH times CM. Now if you will note this DC and CH, these are equal in length. We can say that C is the midpoint or GC is median for triangle DGH. We know median divides triangle in two equal areas. So this area GCH, this is nothing but 12 centimeter. 
and putting the values here gh is x plus a and ch ch is a so sorry cm is root 3 by 2 a so putting these values we'll get this equation now here we can put the value of a as 10 upon 4th root of 27 and solving it we'll get value of x as 22 times 4th root of 3 upon 15 centimeter and that's our answer if you are looking forward for further exercise you can work out to find what is the ratio of ag is to gb and you can post that in comment section and i hope you enjoyed the video I will see you in next video till then tata bye bye